It is a pleasure and an honor <clears throat> to speak on behalf of Ludmila Verbitskaya uh, on the occasion of the publication of a book in her honor. Uh, Ludmila Verbitskaya was an extremely impressive and imposing figure. I met her first in the 1990s, and uh, one recognized immediately that here was a profoundly eloquent and determined defender of the Russian language and of Russian culture, and the first woman rector of the great University of St. Petersburg. She was a person committed not only to the significance and power of Russian as a world language, but she was also a person deeply interested in international education and using the international framework as a way of promoting and sustaining the power and importance of Russian language and culture. And as rector of the University of St. Petersburg, in the immediate years after the fall of communism, she was an innovator in trying to develop new ways of relating the University of St. Petersburg and the field of Russian language and literature uh, throughout the world. And uh, my contact with her was when we sat down together to think about the possibility of a joint dual degree program um, with the University of St. Petersburg that was in the liberal arts. And what was very unusual was that we were proposing a joint program which she helped develop of a liberal arts program with a dual degree, American and Russian, that was to be conducted in Russian, not in English. There was at that time the sense that English would be perhaps the dominant language of international scholarship and teaching. But the Smolny program, which was developed with her and the University of St. Petersburg and Bard College, was going to be one that was conducted in Russian, where American students and students from other places in the world would come to a liberal arts program at the University of St. Petersburg that would be conducted in Russian. So students would study science, the social sciences, the humanities, and the arts in Russian, not in English. And the students who would be involved would not only be Russian students, but students from the United States, from North America, and the rest of the world who would study these various fields, including, of course, the Russian language and Russian culture and history in Russian. And she turned out to be a wonderful and generous partner. We uh, worked together for many years, and there are no professional relationships I am more nostalgic about and more appreciative than the relationship we developed with Ludmila Verbitskaya. She came to the United States to get an honorary degree from us, and it was a sign of our respect for her and her achievements at the university that we gave her that honorary degree. The experiment that we started together in the 90s has turned out to be, after 25 years, uh, a remarkable and lasting contribution to cultural exchange that is located in a deep and profound respect for things that are Russian, for the Russian tradition, and for the beauty and power of the Russian language. It is probably very significant that the home of Vladimir Nabokov is part of the University of St. Petersburg, a great figure in both English and American literature and in Russian literature. Ludmila Verbitskaya was a kind, generous, and perceptive uh, individual who understood how to make things happen. Universities are inherently conservative institutions. They rightly resist fashion and change, and they are committed to traditions that are developed over hundreds of years. And so to have a person who understood how to balance change with continuity, a tradition with innovation, new ideas with old, tested practices. And that's a skill of combination which is very rare in administrators. She commanded respect, loyalty, and affection. And we in the United States, those of us who worked with her in this program, developed 
a tremendous sense of gratitude and uh, admiration for what she did. And she was um, delightful, and her interests ranged widely, and she showed great personal courage and unwavering integrity. One of the great figures of her generation and one of the great proponents of the um, importance and significance of a great cultural intellectual tradition represented by the University of St. Petersburg and by her beloved field, which was the Russian language and its power, history, and future. So this book, which I was very pleased to participate with, uh, is a concrete symbol of her legacy, of her importance, and of her work. And um, we would be all better for remembering her example and following in her path.